Okay, family, today I'm speaking about seven fragrances that I want to reach for in the fall and winter. Because in New York, fall is pretty much winter, especially at nighttime. But I'm going to explain where I'm gonna, when I would wear these and how they smell, but I'm not getting into notes. I just want to give you a rundown on seven fragrances that I would like to wear in the fall and winter. First, I'm going to start with Royal Oud from Creed. Now, this is a very creamy sandalwood with a well-blended oud into the creamy sandalwood. It's luxury. It's regal. It's sexy. When would I wear this? I think fall and winter, I would want to wear this in the daytime. And at night, if it's a, at nighttime, if I had to go to like some type of meeting, right? An important meeting. This is something, this is something I would wear, this Royal Oud. But if it's not an important meeting, definitely daytime. I would put this on, guys. Definitely. Now, Heretage from Guerlain. This smells like an opulent car fragrance. For example, you know those little pine trees you buy and you put in your car? This has a smell like that, but very refined, very appealing, very masculine. And that's what I get from this heritage. And this is the EDP. I really do want to buy the EDT because this is so freaking good to me that I just want to buy it. But I'm just, you know, waiting Biting my tongue, getting some other stuff that I want. But Hereditage, like I said, this is a opulent car no fragrance. The best way to explain it. Like the little trees you buy, you put in your car. And you know that's sexy when a gurgle comes in your car and smells your car. And it smells like that, that. That's what this smells like. But obviously a lot more better, right? And I get eight hours on this, guys. And yes, I get ten hours on Royal Oud. And when would, I, when would I wear this, guys? At night. This would be something I would put on at night. You could wear it in the day, but I like it more for the nighttime. Especially when you're in your car, your car's clean. Spray this on. Whew, you're going to be chilling, guys. I promise you. Now, from Zerzhov. This is called Blue Hope. Okay, guys? From the Shooting Stars. Now, this says this is a meteorite collection. Cool. Uh, you know, my personal opinion, I never smelled a meteorite. And if a meteorite smelled like this, just I hope a thousand of them come crashing that I could take it and make a, make a cologne out of it. Because this smells like, and I'm not lying to you guys, this smells like if someone took blue candy, crushed it, and when they crushed it, it landed on fresh marshmallows. And then those fresh marshmallows had whipped cream under the marshmallow. And that's what that smells like. Blue Hope is just a beautiful gourmand, guys. And where would I wear this? Oh, afternoon, nighttime, daytime. This is what you, what you call a papi chulo. Papi chulo means a dude that gets girls. That's what this is, man. This is one of those fragrances that you put on when you just want to smell good. You're going on a date. You're going somewhere to meet women, but you want to smell edible and likable. And this is strong. Ten hours, no problem, guys. You know, Zerzhov, they do their thing. So, this Blue Hope, like I said, you want a gourmand? This is it, guys. I promise you. Now, from Penahalligan, you got London Aswari, right? Aswari. Now, this is a very opulent oud where it's rich, it is vibrant, it is well blended. I mean, this is a well blended oud. And the best way to describe it. It's just pure class, like just something that has, you know, ultra class, sexiness. It 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 has hints of the Roy. It, it has a hint of this oud, and then it also 
has a characteristic of Jubilation 25. But the difference is that Jubilation 25 goes more into a berry, fruity type, like a bunch of berries. And then, but this Pentaholigan is very opulent, the ooh. The ooh never gets skanky. It never turns ill. It's just pure class, like just a refined, regal ood, where it's just the whole way is sexy, beautiful, elegant, entrapping. Like once they smell this on you, they're going to be like, wow, you really smell good. And you smell luxury of money. That's what that smells like. Very high, very high class ood, guys. Very refined. And when would I wear this? Again, um, in the daytime, you know, like Royal Oud, if I had a big event, I would wear this. If I had a big event, but when would I like to wear it? In the daytime. So if you're going to work, you know, you just smell so good going into work. You know, you're just going to be non-offensive. Just, just commanding attention, but in all the good ways possible. You understand? And only if, like I said, only if there was a type of like event, it'll be something I would wear, just like I would put on, you know, Royal Oud for that purpose. Now, let's talk about the Blue Beast interlude, man. Now, when would I wear this? At night. Right? When I'm going out. And I want everybody to smell me. And let me tell you, I don't know what, you know, everybody's different, right? Everybody's nose is different. I don't want to bash nobody. I don't, you know, I don't like bashing reviewers. Only if they try to sell you garbage. If they try to, you know, get, you know, commit highway robbery on you. That's the only time I'm going to say something. Because everybody has different smell. Everybody has a different reaction. So it's, but my reaction with this interlude man yes heavy incense in the opening but it 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 starts to dry down into a a cotton candy guys just a sweet cotton candy guys with all the flavors in it wonderful composition that's what i get when i rock this and you know this is a 10 hour fragrance no problem works great in the cold you know it's a wonderful fragrance, guys. You can never go wrong with this. And like I said, yes, the opening is incensey. But as it dries down, it turns to a cotton candy on my skin, guys. And I love it. So let's move on to Tom Ford Noir. Now, this I call Batman, right? And it has this mysterious darkness to it. But then it has like this black Tino in it. That just makes it more dark, more sexy, more alluring, different, you know, very different. Is it for everybody? I don't think nothing on this list is for everybody unless you have a seasoned nose. So, but if you want to listen to me and you want to smell good, these are seven you could pick. And when would I wear this? Nighttime. Eight hours, baby. Spray your clothes. Ride you to the next day. And let me tell you something. When you wanna, when you're all, when you're dressing all black, you wanna be mysterious. You wanna walk into a room and people are like, who is that guy? What is that? What he's wearing? Tom Ford Noir. You won't regret it. And the last one, Layton Exclusive. When would I wear this? If I had a board meeting. And I really wanted to take over the room in the daytime, I would wear this. But if that's not the case, it would definitely be a night out fragrance. 12 hours. Listen, the apple and oud note in here is legendary. It is legendary. To be honest, I get more compliments with this than the regular Layton. So this is a compliment king like who holding it down imagine the regular latent is amazing but they actually to me made it better here which is usually hard to do but they did it here 
And this is a 12 hour fragrance. I really would like to get the four rounds because this thing is so damn good. And I just want to stash this one, you know, because when I first was purchasing them, you couldn't get this in a four ounce. But now it's available. And maybe I'll get it in the future. I kind of want to get Peg Exclusive first to see how that smells like. Because I love Pegasus. But, um, yeah, guys. This is definitely a, a more of a night out. Only if I had something major to do during the day. And I wanted to dominate the room. Then I would wear this. But if not, nighttime fragrance. Going out. You're going to get compliments. It's going to last. You're going to do your thing. Now, family. I hope you liked today's video. Like and subscribe. And I just want to say one thing before I get off this live. Or off this video. I see reviewers now going after the people who are hyping stuff up. Bullshitting. You know, talking about all the panty droppers. All this other garbage. Because if you're a guy and you really get girls... You know you're going to need more than a cologne. You got to have some style. You got to look good. You got to take care of your health, your hygiene, and all these things. And then that plays a major key when you spray the cologne, how girls are going to react and come to you. And yes, colognes, if you're a 7, it can make you a 9. But you first got to get to that 7, right? You got to get to that 8 to be a 10. And if you're a 10, you become a 12. But you got to get to those levels. And then this adds to the level. And what makes me laugh, too, in the sense that I've seen these reviewers talk about how their, their channel took a dip. Yo, I'm a young channel. I ain't nobody in this game. You know how much of a it affected me blowing up these reviewers? I was getting, like, 500 views every almost every video. Then I started blowing these guys up for selling the S-Boy garbage. My channel took a dip, right? So when they say that they sacrificed, I mean, I don't think that they sacrificed as much as I did. And I'm not saying that they're not, at least they're doing something about it. But, you know, this war is not going to be won by one person making an argument. You don't need multiple reviewers shutting down this garbage of, you know, if I put this cologne on, a girl's going to want to drop her panties. I've never seen that. The only thing I've ever seen in my life, and it happens rare, is that if you look good, a girl will give it to you on the spot. That is. I happened to me, and I've seen it happen to other men. So, family, like, subscribe. Here's the seven fragrances that I would definitely wear in the fall and winter. Like, subscribe, Man Cologne channel. You know how we do, family. Nothing but hits. And we out of here. Praise to the most high. Health is wealth, baby.